uh, all of, of the cost of people who current pensioners take account for longevity and so on, mortality, mm -hmm. and then uh, serving officers and their I think their like their likely future service uh, crew service. So it's a significant sum. Uh, we were we were discussing earlier, deputy, uh, that we are doing a review mm -hmm. uh, with our colleagues in the CNAG to refresh the assumptions and to look again at what that what that cost would be. Obviously, there are a number of factors which are affecting this. Obviously, longevity. Uh, we're all living longer, which is good, good news, mm -hmm. uh, actually, maybe good news, and uh, that's increasing the cost. Against that, we've introduced a lot of changes in terms of reducing the number of public servants, and we we have the single the single scheme now, which involves career averaging and. Uh, different approach to, to in it. So, so it's very sensitive to assumptions about uh, mortality, uh, index linking, what do you index to prices or, mm. or, or pay levels or whatever. So that, that'll be, that'll be a, a big factor and assumptions about, I presume, future recruitment of the size of the system. It's very, I think it's a very important exercise uh, and I think it'll be interesting to see what the, what the, the result is or number of factors which may push it up, the estimate up the numbers which may push it down. I, I, I have no idea uh, what the outcome is going to be, but we'll see. I mean, because I think it's, it's, you know, the actual potential liability there is kind of, it's a frightening figure. Um, well, I, I think it's a, fr it's a frightening figure because it's the net, the net present cost mm -hmm. uh, in today's terms of liabilities that go on for, what, 40, 50 years. So it looks like a scary number as a percentage of output in this year. But of course, we're not, we're not paying that bill in a year. We're paying, yeah. we're paying uh, uh, three billion. Uh, it is an issue. It's definitely uh, a challenge in terms of uh, managing pension costs. Uh, we can't be complacent about it. Uh, it's not quite as, uh, I think, as daunting as other countries face. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a challenge for us. I think we need to be very careful about uh, £116 billion and how that's presented. Mm. Okay, you need to be very careful because that's over, I think, over 70 years, not, not 40 years. So it's over a long period of time. Uh, and of course, we can make further policy changes in the future, which can reduce that. So there are further policy options. So it's not it's not a static issue. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and if it, if it got to the stage where we thought, well, look, we just can't afford that, well, then obviously we have to do negotiations about possible change in the future. So it's a, it's a big number, and it sounds like a scary number, but you really need to you really need to think of it in the context of the three billion that we're we're paying now, mm -hmm. which is which is two percent of 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 GDP. Uh, so that's not that's not in itself uh, a large number, but obviously it's it's part of the. But we're expecting the percentage of GNP that we pay on pensions each year to increase. Well, we expect. So it's not just a question of well, 116 cents big now. Sure. Big then. I mean. And this 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 relates just to public service pensions. Yeah. That, that, that obviously, if you add in the public service pensions plus social welfare pensions, and if you add in the overall cost of ageing, obviously it's a very different challenge mm -hmm. of a different order of magnitude completely mm -hmm. from focusing just on the public service. There's a, a lot of work. I think the European Commission produced a report. Uh, I mean, they're about to produce a report which has some uh, new numbers on the cost of ageing, uh, and they reckon it'll go up. I think four, five, six percent of GDP for Ireland, and by higher than other, other countries. When you add in, what's their time horizon on that? Do you know? Yeah, it's over 40, 50 years. I think yeah. is generally how we do it. So if you look at not just pension costs, but healthcare costs, and the, the cost of, of, of long-term care, mm. which I guess is the big driver here, uh, there are very significant challenges for. For managing this uh, into the future. The public sector element of it, though, is just, is just one yeah. part. Yeah, and at the same time, we're going to see the number of people working rather than people who are not working uh, in terms of having retired uh, decreasing as well. Um, yeah, the good, just the good news on that, though, is that b babies are, are remarkably popular and that the, the, number, the, number of, the number of births, so, you know, people who are of, of that age should, should keep on keep on producing those babies and uh, that'll, 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 help, that'll help dramatically. And, and small, changes, small changes in fertility rates mm. uh, uh, and changes in participation rates work for us, but can have a very dramatic effect on, on these costs. So Don't the projections take into account those increasing fertility rates? Well, no, nobody knows. It's, fa it's fallen, but it starts to, in Ireland it's starting to go back up a little bit. Yeah. It's starting to go back up for, well, for two reasons. Well, there's the fertility rate and then there's the number of women in, in that age cohort. Mm -hmm. So I think mo the, most of the increase in births is because of an increase in the number of women in that age cohort, as opposed to changes in the total fertility rate, which I think is around 1.8, 1.82, I think. So I think that's gone up too much. And just to conclude then, in terms of the process of, of doing that, that, that revaluation, yeah. uh, the you engaging with the CNAG, when is that expected to conclude? At uh, the end of the, uh, the year, I think, is the, the timeline for it. Uh, yeah. we, we need to, uh, we need to go, go into it. I think it's there detailed work involved at the end of the year. Uh, we will hope to have it complete. Um, okay, thank you.